Yeah, good morning. Uh, this is Bang Bang Ray Hill. I just, uh, what I'm going to do this, morning, this morning or tomorrow, I'm going to go over to um, South East London, uh, get to see if I can see anybody I know, because I should live over Lewisham, that way, Deptford, Willis, Catford, and all that sort of over there, and see if I can somehow get hold of Charlie Richardson, not sorry, sorry Charlie Richardson, please, Charlie, uh, I'll get hold of Eddie Richardson, yeah, and talk to Eddie about it, you know, he would he would know a lot more about it, Albert Redding uh, than, than than anybody really because he's still alive. He's still he's still around. Uh, Tony Lawrence is uh, dead. Frankie Fraser's dead. Uh, the old man Jimmy Tibbet's dead. I mean, Jimmy Tibbet, if he was a, if he was around, he'd be out to tell me about Albert Redding uh, more so than anybody else. I should I should think because uh, both fighters, both both game people. I would. I got a funny feeling, yeah, that uh, if I can remember rightly, I remember Billy Blundell uh, talking about Albert Redding years ago, yeah. Um, I was. He was talking about. Anyway, I'll get more, what I do. I'll get more into it. I'll find out more about it, yeah, from other people, yeah, uh, uh, about uh, Albert. But Billy Blundell is another one. Uh, I can remember talking about Albert uh, about Ikelo Well. He could. He, he, he wasn't in the air. For, he, he's no way that they reckon Albert, Albert Reddy was in the, in, the, in the same league as people like like Billy Blundell, people like uh, Jimmy Tibbs, Jimmy Tibbet, sorry, Jimmy Tibbet, and them sort of people. You know, um, I know there's a lot of people saying that he did uh, bash um, Eddie up, he did bash Charlie up, and he definitely did bash Fraser up. Um, and you've got a lot of people saying no way could he have bashed Eddie Richardson up because Eddie Richardson was a very, very hard man, which is true. Eddie Richardson was a really, really tough fella, could really, really have it, yeah? Um, and Charlie as well, you know, you've got to remember them two, them two was together in Durham, and I think it was Durham and two together uh, with Fraser, I'm not quite sure. Um, also, you're out there with Tommy more about it, but... Uh, if they were together, there's no way in a million years that that, uh, that Albert Reddy would have, would have bashed them both, or three of them up, really, because as, as a company, it's a firm, isn't it? You know what I mean? But I don't know. Um, people people do, do people do their own podcasts. People do their own. You know, they all they're never going to run themselves down as such. Yeah, really. I mean. Um, We've all been we've all we've all been knocked out and knocked down or whatever in, in, in fights. You know we don't win every fight we, we fight. I've been, I mean I've I've had loads of fights. You know and you don't always win every one of them, mate. You know what I mean? And you, like us old soldiers, we always go back anyway. It's not a part of uh, getting beat. We might get beat one day, but the next two or three days later, and we come back and, we, and we, we, we win because that's the way we are. You know, we're not not to get beat as such, yeah. Um, there's not, there's not, not, there's not, there's no people that I know really. I, if Bill, the, Bill, I mean, Bill, if Billy Williams is alive, Bill could tell me uh, more because he comes from the same, the same Toby as uh, as he did. You know, I mean, people like Albert Redding really was was a proper man. Um, people have told me what he, what he was like. Listen, I've now, uh, I've now got into the. Uh, is it Liam Gal Galvin, Leon Gallup, whatever he was? Um, uh, got into his uh, his uh, podcast when he's speaking to Albert Redding. And Albert Redding, I, I love his way he talks. I like the way Albert talks, and I like the way he's talking about Eddie, uh, Charlie, and, and Frankie Fraser when he knocked on, on uh, Charlie Richardson's door. I said, Well, come out, mate, you're safe. And he uh, and, and, <laughs> and then Charlie said, No, the only reason I banged up is because of Frankie Fraser drove me mad. But I really, really, um, I really can't, I really, really find it hard, hard to believe, yeah, personally, uh, that he uh, smashed Eddie Richardson into pieces. Because um, no one really, no one else really says too much about that. I'm not, I've not heard anybody, I've never, I mean, I've, I listen to loads of uh, videos, I've listened to a load of, load of podcasts, I've never really heard anybody say, say that before, only, only what I've, I've now what listened to Albert Redding, yeah? Uh, the reason I said it is because that I heard that there's no way that he that he best Eddie Richardson or Charlie Fraser. Yes, maybe, yeah? But as a lot of people said, 
and it's true. Um, what I know of Frankie Fraser, what I know of his sons, David, uh, Patrick, you know, what I know of his boys. I've never met Frank, the, the eldest boy, but David and Patrick, they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same as the old man. I mean, if, you, if you've done anything to them two, they'd be back on you, they'd be on you, mate. Especially David, uh, they'd be on your case. They wouldn't let you just get away with it. They're like the old man. And the old man was 10 times, 20, maybe 10, 20 times worse. So if Albert Reddy did oblige Frankie Fraser, I think Albert Reddy must have been looking over his shoulders 24-7. But that's what I feel, I think, yeah. And also, uh, when he said about Roy Shaw, about he told Roy Shaw to go, you know, um, is that is that is that what it is? I don't know, you know. I can't see Roy Shaw um, saying that. I can't see Roy Shaw walking away, turning his back and say, all right, sorry, and all that game. I can't see it. Um, it's the same as the other fellow, Lou Yates, saying about Cliff Fields, saying that Cliff Fields turned his back on him. This, uh, when you know people, when you know people and you've seen people fight, that wouldn't happen, yeah? That would never have happened. He just said it maybe out of, out of words, yeah? But that would never, ever have happened, yeah? So I don't think Roy Shaw would have turned his back on Albert Redding and said, I'm sorry, and walk away from it, yeah? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he was with Joe Poyle. Uh, as Albert Redding says, I've seen the, I've seen the, uh, the podcast, and, uh, and he reckons, Albert, come on, Joe Poyle. Joe Poyle was a proper, proper man, mate. He's a prop against the Joe Poyle. And I can't see Joe Poyle and Roy Shaw turning their back and walking away and saying sorry to Albert Redding like that without any repercussions. There's no way I can't see it. But anyway, I mean, you've all got your, you've all got your comments about things, you know, but I just can't see it. I really, really can't see um, that happening. I can't see it, you know. Anyway, um, I am, I am gonna, I am gonna try and get down to um, South East London. I like to get this little, this, this little thing cleared up between, between you know the whole lot of it. Um, it'd be nice to get Eddie uh, to talk to Eddie, even for ten minutes to talk to Eddie, um, and get, and just find out what Eddie what Eddie says about Albert Reading. But I can't see any, I can't see that uh, Eddie Richardson is going to say that Albert Reading. Uh, steamed into and knocked him out. I can't see it, mate. It's going to be, you know, we're all, we're all uh, proper men and we all look up to ourselves, yeah? Unless, unless he did, and now, and, and, and being, but being that Eddie Richardson is a proper man, he would say it. I'd say, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, but I can't see it. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please press the like button and subscribe. Yeah, nice one. Bye.